The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, The Son of Man must suffer greatly and be rejected by the elders, the chief priests, and the scribes, and be killed, and on the third day be raised. Then he said to all, If anyone wishes to come after me, he must deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. For whoever wishes to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake will save it. What profit is there for one to gain the whole world, yet lose or forfeit himself? Sisters and brothers, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The book Underground Notes was written by a Yugoslav political prisoner. And in this book, he cites the stories of many other prisoners like him who survived their confinement, their gruesome confinement in prison. And, the, and, and, and he, would, he would say that his thesis is that, his statement is that prisoner, the prisoners who testified that when it came to choosing whether to save their body or to save their soul, those who chose to save their soul experienced a remarkable infusion of courage and strength. That is, the prisoners who chose to bear their sufferings and to see their sufferings as their identification with the suffering of Christ were the ones who were given a renewed courage and strength to survive their imprisonment. And they, uh, they have reported to experience new power and new strength to go on living despite the very difficult circumstances in their prison cell. And on the other hand, those who chose to save their body, those who chose to simply survive every day, to, get, to be able to get food to, 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 to quench the... To, to, um, address their hunger, and water to quench their thirst. Those who survived, who fought to survive, were the ones who lost both their body and their soul. They did not last long. They gave into depression, and they, and, and they ended up really just accepting their fate and dying. My dear sisters and brothers in Christ, Today, in our first reading, in the book of Deuteronomy, we hear Moses telling the people, I put before you life and death, blessing and curse. Choose life, that is what he says. And what does choosing life mean? He says here in our first reading, Today I have set before you life and prosperity, death and doom. If you obey the commandments of the Lord your God, which I enjoin on you today, loving Him and walking in His ways and keeping His commandments and statutes and decrees, you will live and grow numerous. And this is exactly what Jesus is trying to tell us in today's gospel. If anyone wishes to come after me, he must deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. That if you choose life, you must be able to, you must be willing to die. That that is the Christian, that is the Christian way of looking that there can be no life without death. And what is this death that we are talking about? It is the death of our selfish selves, the, the death of our egos that make us want to be want, want the power and the wealth and all the and all that what this, this world is offering us. But that is not what will give you life. That is not what will lead you to eternal life. As Moses says, it is loving God. It is obeying His statutes. It, it, is, it, it, it is following His, following His commandments. It is walking in His ways that will lead us to life. 
And that is what Lent is all about. Lent is all about the renewal of our spirits. It is God calling us to choose life once again. Because as we go through our daily grind, we tend to live in the world and we tend to believe. But what does Jesus say? You are in this world, but you are not of this world. But we forget that. When we live in this world, we begin to think that we belong to this world. And therefore, we live according to the standards of the world. And Lent is an opportunity for us to go back to the Lord. The Lord asks us to come back to Him, to renew our relationship with Him, to once again decide to live according to His statutes, to live according to the way of life that He has called us Christians to live out. And so, my dear sisters and brothers in Christ, as we enter into this Lenten season, no? we are asked, uh, the Lord puts before us life and death. What will you choose? Will you choose life? But if you choose life, you must be willing to die. You must allow your selfish and egotistical self to die. Are you willing to do that? And Christ asks us, hopefully, you are willing to let go of your selfish self so that you can follow me.